The Washington State Patrol was trying to prevent children from being sexually exploited when it started this case. However, in their rush to get results, detectives bypassed some important checks and balances and subsequently arrested an innocent man. The most important comment that I think I can start out with is there has been no evidence whatsoever of a download by the Chisholms of child pornography. Today the State Patrol wanted to clear Todd Chisholm's name and explain how their well-intentioned task force had targeted the wrong suspect. Todd Chisholm, the firefighter once accused of using his credit card to buy child pornography, was really just another victim of identity theft. The end analysis of this case is that we basically had three verified purchases of child pornography where the Chisholm's credit card was used. We don't know where that was downloaded to, and we don't know who purchased it. Today, state troopers defended their investigation, saying they had operated in good faith and that unless they had searched Todd Chisholm's home without warning, potential evidence could have been destroyed at the push of a button. But troopers also knew that Chisholm's credit cards had been compromised before the raid and never told the judge who authorized the search that Chisholm's might be crime victims instead of criminals. The omission is now being investigated and the sergeant in charge of the case has been transferred out of the exploited children's unit. To be honest with you, that's something that's going on internally within the state patrol is whether or not that information should have been contained in the affidavit of search warrant for the judge to view and whether or not it was germane to the the particular purchase of the credit card that didn't have any fraud on it. Todd Chisholm and his attorney Carl Oreskovich would like you to hear more about this case and so they have scheduled a news conference for Thursday. In the meantime, the Spokane Fire Department has started up its own internal affairs investigation in the hopes of bringing Lieutenant Chisholm back on duty as soon as possible. Reporting live at State Patrol Headquarters, Jeff Humphrey, KXLY4.